This video is going to be on when Pluto transits into your first house. This video is for all Aquarius risings. The first house is ruled by Aries, and Aries is the ruler of the planet Mars. So let's start from the very beginning. Pluto transiting the first house marks a period of profound personal transformation with themes of self-discovery, empowerment, and rebirth. This transit is one of the most intense yet rewarding in astrology because it's going to be a period where there's a lot of catalysts of change that will redefine your sense of self, your identity, and how you interact with the world as a whole. So let's explore what the key themes will be having Pluto in the first. Deep self-discovery and identity reformation. You'll be called to explore the hidden facets of yourself, particularly those parts that have been ignored, suppressed, and not fully understood. Because Pluto likes to be the detective and dig deep into the void to find the truths. So it'll bring up shadow work. What, what parts have caused you to suppress certain things? And how do you bring awareness to those things to heal it so that they are no longer suppressed? That way, after confronting your fears, your insecurities, and patterns of behavior uh, that don't align with your higher self, you can therefore realign yourself, let go of the old identities, and come out with a more authentic self-identity. <clears throat> You'll experience a lot of periods of introspection where you question who you are beyond societal and familial expectations. So this process will encourage you to strip away layers of conditioning from your past, making space for a more authentic self to emerge. Personal empowerment and assertiveness is going to be amplified here because Pluto will give you um, that extra edge of strength especially when it's in the first house, um, the house of Mars. So you combine those two. It's a, it is a um, source to be reckoned with. What is it? It is a, yeah, a force to be reckoned with. So <clears throat> it's a time to claim your personal power, often by recognizing and releasing any tendencies to give away your power, whether it be in relationships work or other areas you may become more assertive clearer on your boundaries and willing to stand up for your own needs during this time you'll likely feel driven to set a course for yourself that aligns with your truest values rather than appeasing others or just following societal norms so you're going to break out of the hive mind mentality this is a time where you do not want to be a part of the hive mind because you break out of that matrix. Physical transformation and self-image as well with Pluto there. Um, yeah, transform how you look, how you carry yourself, your persona, the vibe you give off to others. Um, it could be subtle shifts too, nothing crazy, but still it's going to be noticeable enough at the end. Whether it be in your style, you know, your wardrobe, um, physical changes as well due to like lifestyle change, um, health and focus, or even a conscious decision to just transform your outward image in general. It'll be symbolic of representing your inner changes and a desire to shed past versions of yourself. And people may start to notice a more magnetic or intense quality about you during this whole transit because Pluto adds depth and mystery to your presence. Rebirth and new beginnings are gonna be a theme, of course, like with all Pluto themes. You may undergo a metaphorical death and rebirth, 
process where certain aspects of your life or personality need to be released to make way for growth. You might feel a natural urge to release old habits, toxic relationships, or any self-sabotaging behaviors. This shedding process can be challenging, but it's essential for emerging into a stronger, more aligned version of yourself. Psychological insight and shadow work is a big one. This house being hit by Pluto is going to have the effect of deepening your understanding or deepening the understanding of yourself, of your effect, of how you look. And that includes your shadow. You'll see your shadow. Often through encounters with karmic connections, because usually um, karmic connections act as mirrors to ourselves, like a projection, right? So psychological shadow will really stand out. And then you'll learn how to integrate that um, because you'll have to face them, not deny them anymore. Make it a key focus to stare right at them so that you can be aware of them and learn to heal them because they just want to be acknowledged. That's all. They're tired of being ignored. So it'll be very liberating as well after you get through the hard parts of it. So you'll learn how to have greater self-acceptance and compassion. And like all Pluto transits, power struggles are always involved. So, um, you know, any like power dynamics in relationships and situations, you will def redefine your identity um, and others might possibly resist or struggle with the changes that are happening to you. So it could lead to those conflicts and challenges where you have to stand your ground and assert yourself and just say, hey, I'm, I want to do this, you know, don't tell me um, what to do. I'm choosing to make changes. If I'm not the same person, I, you know, that's just how it goes. I'm not trying to be an ass, but if you truly love me and care about me, you'll learn to adapt to the new person I'm becoming. And then in turn, I would do the same for you. Those kinds of things. You'll become acutely aware of manipulation tactics and others. Because Pluto is going to point those, Pluto is going to point all those out right away, um, right off the bat. Because you'll also be attracting them at the same time. Because when you have such a powerful planet in your first house, other powers are like are like wanting to challenge it. If that makes sense. So the more power that you have, that's outwardly seen in public you're going to draw more competitive situations that want to challenge that power that you're emulating. Therefore, um, bringing about lessons of uh, boundaries and uh, having a backbone, standing up for yourself and all that kind of stuff. You will have a more magnetic presence and more charisma because Pluto is going to be in your first house. So. Definitely adds depth, intensity, magnetism to your personality without you even trying. You won't even have to try. It's just going to be naturally there. Um, but because of that, keep in mind to be responsible with that new energy as well. Because you will have greater influence on others more than you realize when you have that. So use that power responsibly. Your charisma during this transit often comes from a place of authenticity. As you embrace your true self and release old personas, you exude a genuine confidence that resonates with others on a very deep level. So now let's talk about how we navigate Pluto in the first house. Well, embrace your self-reflection. Journaling is amazing. That is so good to do when it comes to yourself and just reflecting in general, meditation as well. And then releasing and letting go, practice doing things that help you to kind of dig up some repressed stuff 
so that you can think about it, process it, and you don't have to do it all at once. This is a, this is a little by little, you take steps. But just doing simple things that can tap into those more sensitive areas of you, just to give them acknowledgement. And that's how you'll kind of heal the past traumas, limiting beliefs that you've had or kept within you to kind of unleash. And that way, it'll be, um, it'll be more fluid when you release any unhealthy relationships that are still kind of attached to you. Because this will definitely be a time of releasing anything that's holding you back. Because whatever you have, it's going to have an effect on your identity and your persona. So it's the only way to do it. Set boundaries and assert yourself. Because, you know, having Pluto there, it's the perfect time for you to become more or at least try to become more comfortable with saying no, you know, not not trying to people please anymore. You know, um, of course, don't be a bitch, but uh, just learn to stand your ground. You know, you don't want to, like I said, it's better to be honest in asserting yourself and not being pressured into doing anything. Building that strong foundation for powerful transformation ahead. And get used to engaging with your shadow, you know, on a consistent basis. And that goes in line with earlier when I was saying about release and let go. Giving time for those traumas. And then that in turn will help you engage with your shadow as well to make it feel acknowledged and not ignored. And therefore integrating it more within you and empowering you focus on your inner strength and as you reflect and you know journal or meditate that is an experience that also helps you to bring focus into your your inner self and your resilience your self-compassion when you reflect on those experiences that make you who you are Embrace the change with grace. Pluto's transformations are often permanent. Uh, so this transit is about learning to adapt. Learning to adapt. Yeah, it's a test because Pluto is fixed. Um, just like Scorpio is a fixed sign. Naturally, Pluto does not adapt. So Pluto is almost like when you do a workout, you know, like exercising. The only way you can gain the muscle is by going against the opposition, the pressure. So Pluto is like that weight when you're doing some strength training. Pluto is the weight that says, nope, I'm not moving. I'm not budging. And yes, you're damn right. It hurts and um, you're tired and I am making you feel like um, uncomfortable. But guess what? I don't care. I'm not changing. I'm, I'm going to continue this discomfort. But then you're on the other end. You're like, oh, no. I don't know if that was a great example or not, but, you know, I think it was a good example. Um, yeah, potential outcomes of Pluto in the first house, you'll likely feel like a completely different person at the end of it. You'll emerge with a clearer understanding of who you are, a strong sense of purpose, and the courage to express your true self without fear or hesitation. This transit will truly transform you into someone more resilient, authentic, and empowered to pursue the life that truly resonates with your inner soul. And that's what I have for you. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, my son is in Aquarius, so it's in, I have my sun sign in Aquarius that's in my sixth house degree wise, but then I have Aquarius in my seventh as well, but it's in Mercury. So I have Aquarian in me, but um, I'll probably likely feel some of this as well. But hope you guys liked it. And <laughs> until the next time, peace out.